Update. Wow, guys, I genuinely didn't know what to expect posting this to strangers on here, but I am so thankful to my husband for suggesting this. I needed a non-biased view on this wearing gold to a wedding issue, and now it's clear that was never the issue. Thank you. Many of you asked if the dress I wore stood out, and honestly, I know I'm biased saying this, but I genuinely don't think so. Another girl was wearing the exact same dress, but in a dark red, which we had a laugh about. Slip dresses are pretty common wedding guest dress where I am, and it was the type of dress that was recommended by the bride. I think many of you were right in saying it was never about the dress, but how I looked wearing it, 100%, and just about you as a human. I do want to start this update by thanking my husband who suggested I post here and have been having a ball reading your comments since posting and even posting a photo of us this morning with a caption along the lines of my gold prize of a wife. I am winning in life thanks to you. Nice. It's been a crazy 48 hours since the wedding. Turns out Dan found out pretty quickly what actually happened and called me last night. Apparently Lauren's mom had told him I was really drunk and told Lauren her dress wasn't it, so I requested to leave. Dan had his suspicions that it was bullshit, but it wasn't until his mom calling him that confirmed it. Turns out she was nearby when Lauren pulled me aside and ironically was actually wearing a yellow gold dress and tore him a new one about letting Lauren treat me like that. Wow. Dan didn't have a solution when he called. I could tell he was emotionally exhausted and pretty defeated. He said he wished I had taken it out on the open bar rather than leaving, but he understood why I left. Yeah, because your harpy of a new of a new wife asked you to. He thanked me for taking the high road and that it hasn't gone unnoticed. He apologized for what happened. Apparently, this is an ongoing fight between him and Lauren. For all of those who said Lauren just hates me, turns out it's a hundred percent true. <gasps> Apparently, she's been trying to convince Dan to cut me off because that's what a good husband does. He said he thought she had gotten over it now that we were married. I told him that he needs to focus on his happiness and that I will always be here to support him and that I will take a step back if that's what he needs. They were supposed to leave for their honeymoon yesterday, but when Dan called, they were still at home, so who knows. I've blocked Lauren and her mom and forwarded the messages to Dan as recommended. Thanks again, everyone, for your comments and judgment. Holy shit balls. Imagine, imagine finding out the day after you get married that you married the devil. Imagine finding out the next day that you had just hit your wagon to uh, an, an evil, narcissistic, really insecure, really terrible person. But it's been an ongoing fight. So he knew that this whole thing was there already. He knew. You're right. Annulment is an option. Annulment is an option. But this is not a new problem. That's what concerns me. What concerns me is that to Dan, this is not a new problem. So her actually acting on it and, and doing something that was in character, as far as this whole argument goes, may not be enough. It may not be enough pain for him to do that. But the fact that his mom... For him a new one for how his new biznatch of a wife is treating his friends. And that has to be enough pain for him to be like, oh, it's much worse than I thought. So maybe he will. Maybe he will. Ripley, if they didn't go on a honeymoon, they're barreling toward an annulment or divorce. It could be. It very well could be. I hope it, I hope it does. I hope this shit person gets what she deserves which is an annulment. Let your insecurity. She showed her ass at her own wedding and went, gave a completely unwarranted lashing to this person who did nothing but show up, probably bought a, probably brought a pretty nice gift and support you guys. I'm sorry. You look too good. What is the, your problem? What is your major malfunction, bitch? Why would you come here showing, showing yourself off like that? So, I mean, I just, couldn't you even do the decent damn thing and gain 20 pounds for my wedding? Bitch. Wow. I mean, look, if on your wedding day, you don't feel like the most beautiful woman in the room, I think that's a you problem. Tell me, tell me this, ladies who have been married, ladies who have had weddings, did you feel like the most beautiful woman on the planet on your wedding day? I, I hope you did. I hope you did. Because you deserve to. I don't know Candy Thunder on our wedding day was, and still is, the most beautiful goddamn woman on the planet. But I hope you feel that. 
I mean, that's it's it's terrible. You're still NTA OP, but I, I, I truly hope that Dan now sees her for who she really is, because this insecurity is severe enough to drive her to say some pretty awful things um, and to show a side of her that he probably has not seen before or has not seen her show to other people before, at least. But now he knows what she's capable of. And yes, it is. He's he, he's finding out fast enough after that wedding where an annulment is possible. So let's hope it goes that route for his sake and for OP's sake. Hell, they could she could regain a friend in this whole process, which I'm sure the narrative that the that the fiance or now new bride is going to spin if they do end up getting this annulled because of what she said to OP is that OP ruined her marriage. Not 24 hours after being married, the marriage has already fallen apart. All because of that duplicitous whore once again. 